Hi, I'm Alex. My name is Sergei. We talk about table tennis. We are Table Tennis 11. Today we are testing a new bunch of rubbers and the idea for testing came after we received a new Neotech X5 rubber which we tried and we like it a lot so we decided to make a new video but it's obvious and also not only for you for us it's easier to test one product comparing it to other products so we decided to pick three more rubbers we took simply best selling rubbers from different brands and also kept in mind that we took all together four rubbers that it should be two made in Germany and two Japan-made rubbers. So these four rubbers are Neotech X5M, Butterfly Tenage 05, Donic Paracuda, and Nitaku Fastark G1. These are really best-selling rubbers. If you are not interested uh, to hear about new Neotech rubber, we hope it would be interesting for you to compare the other best-selling rubbers from our testing today. I, I just would like to show that uh, X5 rubber is vacuum packed. So the only rubber I have in mind now, this is Hurricane 3 Neo, which has a similar vacuum package. But this rubber is produced in Japan. We tried it several playing sessions and it was obviously uh, rubber which could be used by very good players. This is why we decided to compare it to other good rubbers like Tenage 05, Donic Barracuda and Nitaku Fastark G1. At the first glance it seemed to us that this rubber is quite unique on the market. So it's not the same type as German rubbers. It's not the same type as energy, so it's a bit different. We think it is a little bit different according to our memories, but we did not compare them directly on one blade. So this is what we plan to do today. And then we will have like exact evaluation and exact feelings about the differences or if they are similar. Also, we were surprised a little because this is not very famous brand, Neotech. But the rubber seems to us very, very interesting. It is not usual that not known brand presents a product which can attract attention with its good quality. As usual, we use our favorite blades, Neotech Voodoo Classic, which we use for all our tests. This is a five ply classical blade from offensive range. So we ask to assemble two rackets and go for testing. Neotech X5M rubber was very comfortable to play. It was easy to play short and all passive strokes such as block wow. and at the same time the rubber has enough power for killing top spins. It has a very good grip comparing to German rubbers which were tested uh, G1 and Barracuda. Wow. Despite of its power, it was surprisingly easy to chop the ball. So if I talk about contrast, 
maybe there is some lack of power for top spin away from the table. Maybe in order to add some power, I would apply one very thin layer of booster. Wow. X5. Oh, <laughs> With Barracuda rubbers, it was quite comfortable to make passive strokes and short games also comparing to Tenergy, for instance. But not for X5. X5 in terms of short game was the best rubber among these four. Making fast offensive topspin, it was really remarkable, a lot of power. Maybe even too much power for my skill level. Very nice. It was possible to make a defensive backspin chop. Of course, it was almost impossible to give the ball strong backspin. But I was able at least to keep ball in the game. Fast arc G1 seems to me very balanced rubber with a very, very clear feedback. If I play stronger, ball flying faster, and the opposite is also true. I felt myself quite confident playing different strokes with this rubber. I would say, if you don't know which rubber to take, then G1 would definitely be a good solution for almost any strategy and any level. It has a lot of control. Butterfly 10 and G05 seems to me too bouncy for the short game. Also, it was a problem to make a short service. Of course, after I play a bit, it should be easier, but it seems that I never could feel myself confident in a short game with this rubber. To play short, to receive service, it really requires a good touch. At the same time, Tenergy is not very powerful. In other words, it doesn't throw the ball too much playing topspin away from the table. Same as Neotech X5, it has really very good grip, which makes counter spin from a mid distance very safe. I would say if you prefer to play top spin game away from the table and you don't play short at all, then it could be a good rubber for you. Chop is possible to make, but for defensive strategy, I would try a rubber with a thinner sponge, maybe 1.9 or even 1.7. Barracuda is very fast, but at the same time soft rubber. It's definitely not my choice, but I understand why it's so popular on the market. Tenergy 05 is the rubber I've tested before, but it was a long time ago, so I could not remember well what was my first experience with it. This time I'm sure that this is not the rubber for me because it's very bouncy. I cannot play any short game with it and it's very difficult to leave the service of the opening short with it. And the blocks often are going out of the table if you need the precision in the placement. Stark G1 is a very pleasant rubber, I liked it a lot. On the one side it's very direct, so it's easy to play powerful shots with it. The first top spin and the counter top spin I could perform very well with it. But at the same time it's not too fast, so the, I had no problem with playing short and no problem with chopping with this rubber. So quite a good rubber and as far as I know this is one of the best sellers in our shop. So definitely a rubber I could play with. 
And the last rubber uh, for today's session was Neotech X5M version, slightly harder than S. I liked it and the short description of this rubber for me would be a versatile rubber. On the one hand, the, the top sheet is rather sticky comparing to the other rubbers. It was often the case when I did the first top spin and Ilmar could not cope with the spin generated and the ball would simply go out right away. Maybe this rubber is not the fastest one, but it's very stable and you are easily controlling the ball in the game. Whoa. Out of these four rubbers, I like G1 and X5 the most. X5 is quite fast and has good spin. I'll choose it for my backhand. G1 has more speed, but less control. Good rubber for forehand. With Barracuda is very hard to play. Impossible to make slow or spinny shots because it's too bouncy. Energy seems to me a very strange rubber. It has very strange sound and also feeling is strange. The ball flies fast and I feel no control. After testing four rubbers, I came to conclusion that it would be good for me to think which rubber I would like to choose for myself. So I put them in a row one, two, three, four. The most comfortable rubber for me would be Neotech X5M. This rubber has very good spin potential and also quite fast. It is not slower than other four rubbers. The throw angle is not that high and this gives me the possibility to control the ball in all playing situations. I liked X5 most of all in service, receipt of the service and short game. And for me, these are the most important parts of the game where I can lose a lot of points if the rubber doesn't suit me well. Rubber two of my choice would be Nitaku Fast Arc G1. Fast Arc G1 is hard rubber and this gives me the possibility to direct the ball in direction where I would like to play. Fast Tark G1 rubber is very good in playing rallies topspin against topspin. I think it gives a lot of potential to meet the ball early and be aggressive when you play close to the table. Donik Barracuda would be number three for me. I feel very comfortable with this rubber playing away from the table. It feels a bit softer than Nitaku Fast Tark G1 and it throws the ball a little bit more than G1 and it gives more possibility to play far away from the table. But I find it's not easy to play the short game and to make short service. It's strange, but it feels a little bit softer than G1, but at the same time it is more difficult to control. Though, according to our measurement, the hardness was the same. Tenergy 05. In the beginning, when I started playing, it felt like slow rubber, so slower than other three rubbers. When I play strong shots, it gives very good acceleration to the ball. So no doubt it is high class rubber, but I have the problem to serve short and to put the ball short in the short game. I think the feeling of team a ball is needed to master this rubber. One more testing is over. We hope you like it. I always enjoy testing because it's for me a long playing day and you have heard our feelings and impressions about new rubber 
and it's up to you to decide if you would like to try this one or to continue to play with your rubbers. We are waiting for your comments and looking forward to see you soon. Thank you for watching us. Yeah.